It's good to see you guys. Hope you've been enjoying the Fresh Start series. You know what? Because we are all about one thing, but what? Fresh Start. Okay. So who's been enjoying it? Have you been enjoying it so far? Can you raise up this hand? There you go. If you haven't been enjoying it, can you actually? Well, you have one option. You only can enjoy it and there's no other option. I'm not opening any other option. Okay. You better be enjoying it because I'm spending an incredible amount of hours and time making sure the word of God gets to you in the most creative way that I can think of with limited space because it's COVID and it's level three of lockdown, but I am sure it's getting to you. Can I just pray before we get started into the word of God? I'm actually going to ask one of the kids outside there. Can kids, can one of you pray for every kid that is watching online? Okay. You guys, you guys pray. Pray just not for yourself. Pray for all the kids that are watching online. Okay. I want to empower you guys to start praying as well because I'm praying all the time. Your time to your turn to pray. Okay, you go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lord, I want to add to this prayer that your spirit will lead these kids and open their heart so that they hear this message, not because I am speaking, because I'm not speaking by my might, by my strength, but by your spirit. Let the spirit of God also resonate inside their hearts and give them this message that they are not too young to understand and apply it. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, kiddos. Sir. Okay, apparently I need to stop calling you kiddos because some of you are going to grade six. 
soon. Um, either you are now grade six this year or you're going to grade six next year. So you guys are officially, if you are grade six this year, you're officially welcome to what we call Ignite Junior Youth. So you're no longer at Kill Church, you are now part of Ignite and we are gonna be getting in touch with you soon because we are exciting Switch Youth and Ignite messages soon. So you guys are gonna see my face, but I'm not gonna be as funny anymore. I'm not gonna be any of that. I'm gonna be freaking serious. I'm gonna be very serious. Okay, so we are gonna be serious in this and, and I can't wait for you guys to get involved into this. So welcome to all the new grade six. Welcome into Ignite Switch Youth. Lucy and myself are gonna be leading you guys there, so welcome. If you are grade what? If you are still a kid's church, so this is for the grade, what grade three, grade four, grade five. If that's you, then this message is for you. And next year, the grade five are going to Ignite Junior Youth. So we've been talking about the armor of God in our Fresh Start series. And we talked about this. What is this again? Yeah, we said that was the sword of God. And then we talked about what? We talked about this. We said this is the shield. And then what else? The breastplate of righteousness. Well done. And then we talked about shoes. You guys remember the shoes? Yeah, the shoes of the gospel of readiness, of peace, whatever you decide to call it. But it's about being ready to go share the gospel at all times. Okay, so today we are going to carry on with excitement, with joy, and I want to talk to you guys about the something here. Can you guys see what I have here? Can you see this? It's a belt. It's my belt. Who likes wearing belt? I feel all the boys. Let me actually fold this like this so you guys can see my belt at all time. There you go. Oh, oh. Let me actually see this nice belt. Can everybody see my belt? Not my tummy, but my belt here. There you go. This is not a fat tummy. This is actually abs hiding here. They're just, they're just fatty abs. Let's call them fatty abs, okay? Okay, so belt, can you guys all see my belt? All the boys, can you fold so that you can show your belt to everybody watching you? Okay, get your belt ready. Okay, all the girls, girls also have belts. Do girls? The girls have belt. <laughs> girls, do you have belts? <gasps> Apparently, yes. Go run, go get your belt in your bedroom. I'm counting to five. Go get your belt. One, two, three. Four and five. Get your belt and let's get into it. Okay. So we're going to talk about something called the belt of truth. And it's all about truth. It's very simple. It's all about truth. Okay. So we're going to play a game before we get started. It's called truth or lie. Truth or lie. I'm going to say some things here and then you guys have to guess whether it's truth or whether it's a lie. Okay. First statement. I once swam across. The sea right here in Seapoint, I swam from the promenade. You guys know where the promenade is in Seapoint for those staying in Seapoint. And even if you stay out of Seapoint, you must have been at the promenade in Seapoint. So there's this promenade with the sea. Okay. I once swam from SABC, the promenade, all the way to the lighthouse in the cold. Truth or lie? And if you want to see my eyes to be able to tell whether I'm lying or not, you can have a look at it. You can't, you still won't be able to tell. I'm a good are telling the truth and lies as well. So can you guess? Okay, some people say it's the truth, some people say it's a lie. It is actually the truth. I once did it. <laughs> I got you there. It's not the truth, it's a lie. It's a good lie. A lot of people thought I was the truth because, you know, I got some muscle here and then I exercised a lot. So a lot of people actually thought I did that. I didn't and I wouldn't do it ever, ever, ever. Too scary, afraid of sharks. Okay, so I've never done it. Did, oh my God, I almost fell <laughs> because I didn't see this. I almost fell. Okay, was that pretense or was that true that I almost fell? Is that true or is that pretense? Is that a truth or a lie? <gasps> no, it's actually the truth. I wasn't planning. I almost fell. Literally, there's like stairs here. I almost fell. Look, if I jump here, see stairs? If I jump here, you can see the stairs. So that was actually... And that was actually the truth. I almost fell. Okay. So here's the third one. I once jumped off the cliff of a 20 meter. That was 20 meters high into a river. Was that, is that a true or is that a lie? <laughs> 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 
sorry for you, that is the truth. I did it in New Year's 2015. I went, I drove all the way to George and we went clooping, jumping off the cliff, like going up and down into the thing and it was crazy. And I actually met my wife there for the first time we get, we became friends, but that's a different story. But I went from up and down in George and all of this. And then uh, we got to the top and then I had to jump and I screamed like a little baby girl. I was like, I can do this, I can do this. And I jumped out. Shoot. I got into the water and I was scared, but at the end I was super excited. So I have done that before. Okay, let's see. Have I ever, hmm, what else can I give you? Have I ever eaten so fast that I almost choked myself? Truth or lie? That's also a lie. Okay, so having played this exercise, I'm sure a lot of you got it wrong all the time because none of you know me well enough to be able to tell when I'm lying or when I'm telling the truth. But all of that, a lot of it was you guys didn't get it right. So having done all of this game, you guys understand the importance of truth, what a truth is and what a lie is. And the belt of truth in a soldier army, in, a, in the army, the Roman soldiers, they had to wear their belt. And the belt was so important. Sometimes the belt was here, but it also came all the way here behind. And everything that we've talked about will, will, will be held by the belt, the belt. So their sword will be here on the belt. They could even hang the shield at the back using stripes that were coming from the belt, and everything would hang here. Their, their shorts, their pants that they would wear to protect their thighs would be hung on the belt, and even the breastplate that they had to wear would be hung on the belt, so everything was on the belt. And what this means is that the truth is what binds everything. You can't have faith in a lie. You can't share the shoes of the gospel of lie. You can't, your sword need to be based on the truth, not a lie. So everything that we've been talking about so far actually need to stand on the truth. What is the truth? The truth is telling what is true, telling what is and not what is not. And it's very important to understand this, guys. And so in Ephesians chapter 6, when it says put on the belt, uh, the, the belt of truth, what it says is it's important for us to know the truth so that we can speak the truth. So what is the truth? What is the truth? The truth is simple. The truth is what the Bible says is. So as you guys can see, since we started this series, I've been, say, I've been saying to you guys, for us to have a fresh start, you need to know your Bible, you need to read your Bible. And now you guys understand why it is so important. Because if the truth is in the Bible, what happens when you don't know the Bible or when you're not reading your Bible? So what do you know? Because there's two things here competing. There's what the word has to say, the world, the whole world has to say. There's what God has to say through his Bible. You either listen to one or you listen to the other. This one here changes and is not always the same. This one here doesn't change and it's always true. Which one do you choose to listen to? Because ultimately, the one you choose to listen to, every other thing will hang on that. So if you listen to the world, your faith is going to be in the world. If you listen to the world, your sword to attack is going to be in the world. And you won't be able to fight any spiritual battle. You won't even be able to see when the enemy is telling you a lie or not a lie. You won't be able to see it because you don't know the truth. And so when we talk about the belt of truth, all the boys in the room, I want you to hold your truth. And all, the, all your belt here and all the girls, can you wipe Everything with your belt. There you go. So I want you guys to know this. It's very, very important. Very important. It's important for you to know the truth. And the truth is what is said in the Bible. Now, does that mean that all the other things that are not in the Bible are a lie? For example, the sky is blue. The Bible doesn't say the sky is blue. So that doesn't mean it's a lie. No, it doesn't mean it's, it's a lie. It is the truth. The, Bible, the, the, the sky is blue. But the truth is that the sky can change color one day. Because anything that is in the world, any truth that is in the world can change over time. Can change over time. But everything that is in the Bible never changes. Always true. And as you follow it, you get, you never, ever, 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 ever get disappointed. Because the Bible never changes. Because the God who created the Bible never changes. So here's my thing to you. Here's what I want you to do. Every week, I want you to read a portion of your Bible. 
I want you to copy it. Ask your parents, I don't know how to copy it, or write it down on a piece of paper, or take a photo of it, and then go print it out. Stick it on your screen every week. There are 50, about 54 weeks or 52 weeks in a year, I think 54 weeks in a year. By the end of the year, if you start now, you'll have 54 different verses that will be glued in your bedroom and that you will know by heart. And that's how you start getting to know the Bible. That's just my technique and my advice to you, but I want you guys to know, unless you know the truth, your faith will not be strong and it will be in things that are not the truth. So come on, as we talk about the belt of truth, would you take the time to get a verse each week, not every day, just one week, and memorize it for the whole week until you know it by heart. And then the following, take another one and stick them in a place in your bedroom where when you sleep you can see it and it can remind you of what it means to have the belt of truth. Come on, kids, I love you so much, and I pray a blessing over you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Get your belt of truth ready, and so that you can be ready to just walk around and shoot the truth at people. Psh, 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 psh. Oops, I think I shot myself with the truth. It feels amazing. And I'll see you guys next week. Ciao, bye.